Hey, what's going on? Thanks a lot for tuning in today. Listen, I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. I have a lot of gear, okay? And I just, maybe I just didn't quite have a grasp on how much gear that I actually have until I spent like four hours last night doing an intensive gear sort and came to the realization that I literally have enough knives, flashlights, notepads, pens, all that kind of good stuff to build out a dedicated everyday carry kit for the next six months. Easy. So maybe be, being able to crank out one video a month of my everyday carry for May, June, July, August, September, October, whatever, might be a good idea because you guys like everyday carry, I like everyday carry, and YouTube likes everyday carry. So let's go ahead and jump into it, starting with my camouflage everyday carry. Let's roll. So we'll get started with the wallet. This is the Travax Armored Summit Wallet. A minimalist design, as you can see. Very thin, very low profile design that is um, basically configured to fit about one to seven cards plus a maximum of five bills with this money clip on the back. Now, like the other Travax wallets, it is adjustable to fit how much stuff you have in it. And all they did here is they just have this mil spec nylon webbing strap across the top that is adjustable right here on the back of the wallet. Now there's also an attachment point right here, which of course I did just like I did with the contour where I attached a bit of cordage with a lanyard knot and then an overhand knot to the wallet. And that's about all there is to mention with the wallet. It's just a low profile, rugged design with a solid tough finish. So it's gonna resist any sort of scraping or you know, any sort of damage that may be inflicted on it and it just works and it's definitely a lot thinner and a smaller fit in my pocket than the contour and it kind of was nice because it made me reduce the amount of cards that I was carrying down to just precisely what I use on a regular basis you know a couple a couple credit cards a visa debit card my driver's license medical insurance and then if I choose Throw, throw a couple bills on the back, maybe you know a couple fives and a one or a 20, whatever. Next, guys, is the notepad and pen. I find myself using a notepad and pen on a regular basis. I've tried to use my phone to take notes. It just doesn't work. It's not as easy as just being able to crack this open and start taking notes. So it could be anything from an impromptu shopping list to an idea for a YouTube video to notes on abandoned buildings I may drive by and see. Uh, who knows, right? But I use these on a regular basis. So this is the field book by Alon Publishing. You can get these in packs on Amazon. Of course, there'll be links for all that stuff down the bottom. I appreciate that support because I am an Amazon affiliate. And then the pen is the Gerber Tactical Pen. I got this on sale years ago. I think it was like $70. I got it on sale for like $30 because I was thinking like there's no way in hell I'm going to pay $70 for a freaking pen. But this thing is bomb proof, rugged design. It even has an integrated glass breaker right here, which I've actually demonstrated and used before. So just a great pen, has a good weight, fit in the hand, real nice. And with these two right here, I have the ability to just kind of do brain dumps whenever I need to. And now for a little eye candy. I bought a new case for my phone. I couldn't pass it up because I love the light proof cases, the black ones that I showed you guys before, but this was something special. M90 camo pattern and it's just sexy I know and it was worth the $22 I paid for it it's made by Jack Spade New York and I just went ahead and put a tough cover on the front of it to kind of protect the screen from breaking and I just like it it's a lot um, thinner easier fit in my pocket than the rather bulky life proof case and that M90 camo pattern look at that that's nice. You don't see M90 camo patterns that often anywhere, especially on a phone case. So I would just, I don't know, it's kind of like a luxury buy. I had to pick it up. What can I say? So that's the camo pattern. That's the primary camo pattern for this kit, the M90 camo pattern. And if you guys are interested in a case like this, I'm using the iPhone 6. I believe it comes for iPhone 5 and other sizes. And of course, I'll drop a link down there in the pinned comment. So as part of that gear sword I was referring to in the beginning of the video, I stumbled on a flashlight that I had lost and now found. My, like my first tactical flashlight pur purchase, the Streamlight Protac 1L-AA. 
350 lumens. Just a little uh, tail switch right there. And a design that fits perfectly in the palm of my hand. It's not too heavy, not too light, so where it feels cheap. And it's just a um, it's just a solid design that works. It has a reversible belt clip so you can carry it straight down like I prefer to, or I guess maybe you would carry it like this, but I can't imagine leaving the end, this glass right here, exposed to damage. So I always carry my flashlights pointed down so when I pull them out, I can easily access them and use them in this fashion. I never use flashlights like this. I always go with the tactical grip, you know what I'm saying? So 350 lumens in this bad boy, powered by a CR123 battery. And I can't remember exactly the runtime. I'm going to post up some specs right here. But overall, price point, good to go. It's about $40 on Amazon. And a solid flashlight, and needless to say, I'm glad I found it. It was perfect with this camo-ish everyday carry kit. So for timekeeping, I'm still rocking the Timex Expedition. It's just become a favorite of mine. I didn't really used to ever wear watches, but with this, it has a com comfortable band. The price was great. It doesn't have some sort of giant hulking watch face that overwhelms my wrist. And overall, it's just great. I wear it out in the field. I wear it day to day. And the only time it really comes off of my wrist is for a review like this. So if you're in the market for a budget timepiece, that um, comes in with great price point, great quality, solid design, and a luminous watch face, then you gotta ch check out the Timex Expedition. Now, what do we move on to next? I think, well, there's not much left. We'll just do the edge weapons, because that's really all I have left. And I have a knife that you guys might not have seen before. It's something that was kind of like an impulse buy, but I had to buy it, and now, I've kind of grown to like it, and so, I don't know, you, you guys will have to let me know what you think of it. This blade, like I said, was an impulse purchase. These were out of stock for eons, and then I had some dude on Facebook hit me up and say, hey, they're in stock again. So I just had the money, and I went out and bought it, and when I got in the mail, I was like, wow, this thing is ugly as all hell. I mean, it's basically what happens when Millspec Monkey and K-Bar have a drunken orgy. This is the offspring of that orgy, and... I'll tell you honestly, over time, I've started, I've started to grow to like the design. I mean, it's different, first of all, but it's so comfortable. This cordage wrap right here is super nice, super comfortable in my hand, a perfect grip, as you can see right there, and this aggressive thumb ramp provides additional grip, additional options for grip. You can go underhand like this, traditional grip like so. And um, there's also this super heavy-duty pommel on the end for smashing things, including skulls. And then also something cool to point out here is this top part of the blade ships, and it's not sharp. But depending on the rules in your state, be sure to check them out first because we want to follow rules, right? We're good people. We're good citizens. Um, you can actually sharpen this. So you have sharpened edge here and also on top, which makes it just a little more deadlier. And then overall, in terms of grip, you can see it's designed for grip like so. It's designed for traditional grip. It's made of SK5 steel, which is super heavy duty and tough. It holds a great edge. And the blade itself is, or sorry, the cutting surface is about 3.5 inches. And as you can tell, I shouldn't even have to say this, it is obviously a full tang blade so that's it for the blade i don't know what you guys think of it i've grown to love this rather fugly yet interesting design and if they're available you might get lucky uh, i don't know if he's even doing production runs of this anymore but one other thing to mention is the knife sheath itself is made of kydex i have this set up right now for carry on my belt but you can set this up to carry on your chest rig or anything that is Molly or Pals compatible. So this is a beast, but maybe I don't want to pull this out and use it for just average everyday tasks like opening a box. So that's why I have a little pocket knife on me. This is the Kershaw Shuffle. The blade is 2.4 inches in length. It has this tough, durable coating on it that literally does not wear. I've used this to cut open boxes to process meat, whatever. The finish is good to go on this. It has a nice grippy 
bit of surface for the handles and it has also let's see here i have to be careful not to cut myself because this thing is sharp as hell it has a integrated bottle opener for those times where you want to open up a bottle and be real cool about it and use your knife pop it right open then right here on the end this pommel is actually functional as a flathead screwdriver so you got some nice little options on this it's a budget knife it comes in at a great price point and the way this clip is is mounted on the actual knife it enables for super deep pocket carry so the only thing that you might see protruding out of the pocket is just the pommel end of the knife and nothing else which i like it's concealable and you're really it's so light you don't even know that it's there okay guys that's it for the camel everyday carry and also i was checking my youtube metrics Big shout out to the women who watch this channel. We've gone from 1% of women watching it to a huge whopping 1.8% of women who watch this channel. So what's up? Thanks for the support. I definitely appreciate it. Now, what's next for Everyday Carry? Next run, I don't know. I love the, the total blackout Everyday Carry kits that I see out there. I love the whitewash ones. But I might switch it up a little bit. I have enough everyday carry things to kind of do like a black and blue everyday carry kit so who knows maybe you guys let me know what type of everyday carry kit you would like to see next and yes of course you know the deal like comment share subscribe it makes a big difference to the channel it's official we've broken 17,000 subs I'm so happy about that because now that just makes me feel like I'm over the hump and I'm like creeping up on 20,000 which I'm gonna do something really cool and really special for you guys when I break 20,000 subs. I don't know what it is yet, but it's gonna be one huge, big ass giveaway. So, you gotta make sure you stay tuned for that. And of course, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.